Good Friday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. As we make it to the beginning of a weekend and the end of the work week, let's take a look at what's going on outside. So currently we've got areas of patchy fog and that will start to burn off as we go through the morning hours. And we'll certainly see that clear up as we go through the next couple of hours. I'd say around nine, 10 o'clock, we'll see that go away. Um, temperatures right now, 53 degrees in Salisbury. We've got uh, low to mid 50s around the county. As you head out toward the coast, we warm up to around 70 degrees out along the outer banks there of Cape Hatteras, low 50s up in the mountains. And then as you head on back to the west, you can see there's our cold front. That's going to be the next one that comes through, and it'll be coming through here uh, shortly. And as it does, it'll help us cool off uh, even more. Uh, we've got an area of high pressure that's kind of right in here. It's a surface high, and it's right in that area right there. And we'll see that start to make its way through uh, over the next couple of hours today. And that'll bring in drier air and, again, start to cool us off as the remnants of Ada and all the moisture that was squeezed in between the high pressure and the low uh, yesterday gets moved out of here. And Man, thank goodness we're done with all that, right? So uh, we'll talk about uh, some of the flooding around the county in just a moment as well. Let me turn off all the MISO data and the, and the, and the temperatures, and we'll turn on the model fill. And temperature is going to be the big story for us today. So, oh, jumped on me there. Sorry about that. So, let me get to where we were here. So, this is 8 a.m. And you can see temperatures in the uh, 50s around the county. And, again, 60s out as you head toward the coast. Some low 50s, upper 40s in the mountains. By 9 a.m., still in the 50s. By 10 a.m., we start to see some upper 50s, low 60s creeping into the county. Uh, by 11 a.m., we're in the 60s. 12 a.m., or 12, excuse me, 12 noon, we are now continuing to be in the 60s. 1 p.m., still in the 60s. 2 p.m., 60s. 3 p.m., 60s. 4 p.m., still in the 60s. By 5 p.m., sun's starting to go down, and uh, we're starting to see temperatures drop. And when the sun goes down tonight, temperature is going to drop pretty quickly because of the fact that the cold front is approaching. We've got that high pressure that will be in place and it'll be bringing in cooler air. And let's talk about the weather impacts for today so you can be prepared for that. Weather impacts sponsored by Patterson Farm Incorporated. Greenhouse will be open November 20th through December 23rd, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., Head on out, get your Christmas poinsettias. They're also doing some fundraising with that as well. We have information about that available on our social media pages, uh, and we'll continue to post that as well. Uh, cloudy skies this morning. We'll see that patchy fog start to burn off again, like I said, right around 9, 10 a.m. this morning. Everything transitions to partly sunny skies by this afternoon. We'll see mostly clear skies this evening. Winds are going to transition from the west to the north as the cold front starts to move through. And again, we'll see drier air come in with the high pressure, colder air come in with the cold front. So, uh, you know, it's going to be more fall-like as we start to head into the middle of next week. As a matter of fact, you'll see in the upcoming five-day forecast that temperatures uh, by the middle of next week, we're going to have highs in the, in the low to mid-50s on some days, and we'll talk about that as well. So flood watches and warnings around the area. You see uh, areas that are in the light green, and let me get my drawing tools back on here. So areas like this right here in the light green, or maybe this one, or even this one, these are all right along the border of, of the county. Those are uh, right where the Yadkin River is, and those are watches uh, to see if the you know, river continues to rise and all that. One's in the dark green, like this one here. Um, those are warnings. And so we've got those in effect, again, for the next couple of days. We'll see things start to clear out uh, as we head into the, to the weekend. The watches may stay in place, I would think, through the weekend, maybe even into early next week. Because, again, those are going to be right along the Yadkin River. And, uh, you know, the concern will be is the water that got dumped into the mountains. Think about it. The Catawba area yesterday got a ton of rain. We saw the campsite rescue that was happening up there yesterday. Um, all that water will flow downstream to us and it'll flow along the Yadkin River. So we're going to have to keep that uh, in mind over the next couple of days. So residents living along the Yadkin River, you may have to deal with this a little bit longer than the rest of us will after the flood warnings for the county are taken away. The reason why the flood warnings for the county are still out is there are still several areas around the county that have flooded roadways. Uh, so keep that in mind. 
And, uh, you know, we'll, of course, uh, continue to keep you updated once those warnings are canceled or, or they are allowed to expire. We'll make sure you're aware of that and we'll keep you updated on those watches as well over the next couple of days. Let's go ahead and take a look at the my computer's freezing up on me. There we go. Take a look at the five day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling built on integrity. Give them a call 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention that you saw they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. So the good news is if you look over the next five days, there is only one little point where there's rain chances and that's on Sunday. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. Although those rain chances are gonna be very limited. So if you got any outdoor plans coming up for the weekend and early next week, I would not cancel them. I'd keep them going. Today, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 72 degrees, low of 41. Tonight, with a low or a, with a mostly clear skies, we'll get that out right in a minute. On Saturday, sunny skies, high of 63, uh, clear skies, mostly clear skies, Saturday evening, low of 45. Sunday, we've got the uh, mostly cloudy skies, high of 68. I do have a 20% chance that you can see an isolated shower Sunday uh, during the morning hours. Uh, after that, we are, are golden. And I really think that you're going to have a hard time finding any rain on Sunday, but we certainly can't rule it out. Again, it's going to be very isolated. We'll see a low of 40 degrees on Sunday evening under partly cloudy skies. On Monday, we really start to get fall like sunny skies, high of 60, clear skies Monday evening, low of 36. And then on Tuesday, we'll see sunny skies with a high of 59. Clear skies Tuesday evening, low of 33. So we're going to get right back around that freezing mark. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Just remember that if we, for some reason, get uh, into freezing again on Tuesday, you will not get a freeze warning issued because uh, once you get your first freeze warning, they pretty much don't issue them anymore. It's really for making sure that you're aware of any kind of uh, outdoor plants that you bring them in, things like that. Uh, but, you know, again, keep in mind that if you do have any plants that are outdoors right now, you're going to want to bring them back in before Tuesday night just to ensure that they don't get any frost or freezing or anything like that occurring with them. So with the weather being the way it is over the weekend, plenty of opportunities to get out and about. If you choose to do so, you can do that socially distant. Obviously, we still got the, the uh, pandemic going on. But again, there's opportunities to still get out and enjoy yourself and to check, see what's going on locally. You can visit local this holiday season. Our friends over at Euro Inn have everything to keep you up to date on that. We've got uh, their information posted on our Facebook and Twitter pages as well, and also on Instagram. So certainly uh, check that out for any kind of local holiday events that are going on around the county. They'll keep you updated there. Also with anything that some stores around the county might be doing, things of that nature. So again, visit local this holiday season with Euro Inn. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with us at any time, you can visit our website at www.ruancountyweather.com. You can check us out on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter pages on social media, or you can check us out on cable television at WSRG TV in Salisbury. That's available on Hotwire and Spectrum. We'll keep you updated there as well. Again, we'll keep you updated on the weather throughout the day and into the weekend, make you uh, aware of any cancellations with the flood warnings, the watches, if they're allowed to expire at any time, we'll keep you up to date on that. And then we'll make you aware also if that rain plays out for us on Sunday. Again, I don't think you got to worry about it, but just enough of a concern there that I did put a 20% chance into the forecast. I don't put anything lower than 20. So, you know, we're on the dead low end of what you can expect in terms of uh, any potential for rain on Sunday. As always, thank you for following Rowan County weather and enjoy your Friday, everybody.